Okay, <clears throat> I have a tractor here. It's a 240-295DT, and the steering box came apart. Um, this is real common. This gear here is all worn out, and it slides into this thing here. There's all these ball bearings that go in there. It's basically it's destroyed. Um, checked for the parts. Um, People say they're available, but uh, more and more I investigate, the more they're not. So, I'm making a quick video here to show you guys how to fix this. Um, what this is is a brand new steering box for a 245DT or 245L245, and this is a, the original steering box for the L295. Um, the DT has an arm that looks like this for both models for the 245 and the 295 except the whole size is larger on the 295 on both ends so you could probably use one of these but you're going to have to re-drill the other side um, the steering box itself will bolt right up but you see the difference is this is higher and this one here is lower um, but from what I'm looking at everything clears just fine um, the length is the same uh, the biggest thing is is that if you put this on here it doesn't fit so you have to modify it somewhat to make that work and that's what I'm going to do since this is a tapered fit what I'm doing is I've took some sheet metal here and use it as shim stock uh, the one I use is a 22 gauge and uh, wrapped it up around it and I'm going to go ahead and put the nut on and the thing you want to be careful of is when your shim stock comes out of the back that you don't damage the seal so uh, you got to find the center and then I'm going to go ahead and put this on the steering box first and then put it on the track we're working on a L240 295DT and it's my tractor I don't have any others but here's the steering box mounted uh, if you look here the other steering box was a little bit taller and uh, it actually fit the arm fit into this groove right here so what I did is if you see there's a little mark on the end of the shaft it's supposed to line up with these two outer marks, if you can see those. Um, what what I did is I went ahead and set it a little bit offset, so my steering to the one side is going to be a little bit more than the other. I could notch this out. There's plenty of room. I uh, could just take and notch that out if I have to, I will. Um, and then uh, everything else fits. It just goes right on there. Uh, the shim stock seemed to work well. I tightened it all down so you can see the shim there it's a tapered fit so it shouldn't go anywhere I cranked it down with the air gun as tight as I could get it uh, so and it should the splines should run into the other splines and hold it all together tight as far as I can tell if not you know worst scenario is it's a tractor I could go ahead and just give that a little weld there and uh, leave it that way forever probably never have to take it apart again I doubt this tractor is ever going to see another steering box. Uh, these are available on eBay for like $450. But I found this on Amazon for $399. Uh, and it's a lot more, a lot less hassle than taking. I believe from the looks of the photos, it looks like this shaft should actually fit in the other steering box. But got a phone, got a phone call in the middle of my video here. So, uh, but yeah, I believe the steering shaft is similar to the other one, might work, but the bearings actually were different, so I wasn't willing to chance that. I'd rather just buy the whole thing and slam it on there and it's over with. So, that was my thoughts from looking at the photos, and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to fix your old tractor and get it running again. Well, this is how it fits. It goes on, it has the uh, shim. And then it's a little bit close right here, but it works great. Steering 
I can steer it now with one hand. I added Lucas to it so that it really steers easy. Those of you who think you need power steering, um, just add some Lucas. Works great.